Hey everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. It has been storming here in Texas and we actually got a pretty bad one over the weekend um, and then one last night. Um, so I'm pretty tired because we end up getting up because of the tornado sirens going off. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys are doing well and that you, um, if you were in the path of the tornado, didn't experience any damage or injury or anything like that, we're absolutely fine, no, no damage here. So I'm thankful for that. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys are doing well too. Um, so this is going to be part two of my sample unboxings for the month. So I have my BoxyCharm as well as my Beauty Box 5 um, to share with you. If you guys want to see what I got in my Birch Box or my Ipsy, I will link that video down below. I also got my Scentbird this month and I've been subscribed to them for a few months now actually. I want to say like at least like eight eight or nine months um so the fragrance i got this time around was commodity platinum bergamot and this is my third commodity fragrance i had previously gotten gold which i really like so i tried rain rain was really good too saw this and i love bergamot anything so i picked this one up and this doesn't disappoint either i love it like i said i love bergamot anything anything kind of like just really refreshing kind of citrusy and just really fun um i really like but this one is a little bit more sophisticated there's a little bit more of like a deeper note to it i don't know and then i was walking earlier today and i kind of smelled vanilla but i'm not sure exactly what notes are in here but it's a really good one and i really like it a lot i guess i just really like the commodity fragrances and i'm excited to try more of them so next i have my beauty box five i'm going to open up first last month's boxes were all really good in my opinion i think it was one of my favorite beauty box five boxes so this month is gonna have to do a lot in order to you know keep up with that um so let's see the theme for this month is don't be dramatic <laughs> i guess um and it looks like we have one two three four full-size products in here so that's really exciting so i'm just gonna get started first thing i see in my box is a glitter and this is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. This is in the color Spectra. And it's just a cosmetic glitter. It's like one of those, um, it's like silver, but it's kind of um, holographic, I guess. Um, I don't wear a whole lot of glitter on a regular basis. I'm sorry, again, for the lighting. It's getting bright and dark. I'm sorry for that. Um, but yeah, this is full size and retails for $15. You could have gotten assorted colors, so I would love to know which one you got. But this one pretty much just looks like a disco ball. I feel like it'll be fun. Maybe I can use it on my nails or maybe for like, you know, maybe a costume or something. Maybe come Halloween. Um, but yeah, it's full size. The next item in here is also full size. It's a full size eyeshadow. And this is from, um, Prestige Cosmetics, I believe. This retails for $9.75. It's quite large, actually. Um, and this, you could have gotten assorted colors as well. The color I have is True Metals Eyeshadow. Or no, is that the color? No, okay, so this is their True Metals Eyeshadow. The color I have is 03 Copper, which is really exciting because I have been obsessed with copper. And it's a metallic finish. It swatches really nicely. It's actually quite smooth. You can see it's very pigmented and it looks really nice it feels almost like creamy when you swatch it it's a really pretty color so i am excited about that um the next thing in here is a beauty tool from sweep and we've seen this brand a couple times in beauty box 5 and actually the last two products i got from this brand i i did really like i got a pair of tweezers and a little like mirror that mirror i keep in my purse and it has come in very handy these are little like eyelash applicators um they feel like really nice quality it's quite heavy um and this is um the lash helper and this retails for nine dollars and 99 cents so it's kind of like little tweezers that you use to help you apply your eyelashes so you kind of like grab the eyelashes and like place them on your eye i don't own an eyelash applicator tool so this is pretty neat and the next item to go with those are some sweep the elisa lashes or elisha elisa e-l-i-s-a lashes that retails for fifteen dollars for a set of five of them the final product in my beauty box five is from mana kadar this is their lash extending primer and this is the only item in the box that is not full size but it's still a really good like sample size 
Um, so yeah, that is from Mana Kadar. So overall, I would say this is actually still a pretty good box this month. I'm happy with it. First of all, because of this big eyeshadow, it's a really pretty color. The texture of it is really nice and very creamy. So I'm really excited about that. And then this little nifty tool. I don't own one already, so it's nice to have one in my collection. Um, so those are like the two like favorite items in the box, but already these two like pay for the box. So everything else was kind of extra. So even if I don't end up using them, it's okay because I, I am happy with the other two products. Um, next, moving on to a boxy charm. Always exciting, isn't it? The the theme for this month is creepy cute. Creepy cute. I don't really understand what that pertains to. If you guys know, let me know. Like, why creepy? Like, I feel like this would be like a Halloween theme. I could just be like super oblivious and I don't know, but the theme is creepy cute. I would love to know why that is, if you know. So, the first thing I have in here, this is from Smashbox, and this is a really good size, actually. I believe this is kind of like a travel size. It's half a fluid ounce, and this is their Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I used to use it all the time. Haven't used it in a really long time, so it's nice to have another like little tube of it, which I say little, but it's actually going to last quite a long time. This retails for $16. I also spy a brush in here. A full-size brush. This is the Deluxe Fan Brush from Crown Brush, and this retails for $18.99. And you know, I mean, it's great. I love getting brushes from BoxyCharm, but I feel like, you know, like we just got that fan brush like a couple months ago. I mean, this one's completely different. This one's definitely a lot fuller. Um, so I'm glad of that. But I just don't really have a use for a ton of fan brushes. But like I said, this one is a lot fuller. It's very, very soft. I feel like I could just use this as like a face powder brush if I wanted to, even for contouring or something like that. So still really cool. It's their jumbo. It says jumbo kabuki fan brush on the actual handle here. But yeah, like I said, it's very, very soft and very fluffy. So the next thing in here is another palette. This is from Naked Cosmetics and this will be my first product from Naked Cosmetics, the brand. This is the Naked Cosmetics Urban Rustic Palette and this retails for $39.99. And wow, really pretty colors. Very, very pretty. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would personally wear these colors like all together. I would wear like each of them individually like on the lid or something like that kind of make it more wearable but they are really pretty there is a mirror here on the bottom and the eyeshadow sizes are really nice and large they all swatch really nicely those are the colors on my finger and there are the three shades swatched on my hand i'm sorry it's kind of bright so it's kind of hard to see that green one um but they all swatch really nicely they're very very pigmented and they really have a nice kind of pearlescent metallic finish to them and the last two products that are in the box are actually from the same brand they are from real her and i have gotten um, a couple lip products from this brand before in several different boxes um but these are let's see this is the expert advice lip liner and this is the lady love matte liquid lipstick and these are both full size and retail for $15 for the liquid lipstick and $12.50 for the lip liner so i'm not sure if everybody got the same shade this month again i would love to know what color you guys got um the liquid lipstick i have is i deserve the best and the liquid or not the liquid the lip liner i have is called i am loved so this is what the packaging looks like for the liquid lipstick and this is what the packaging looks like for the lip liner so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch both of these really quickly. So the liquid lipstick's actually a very thin consistency. It is a really pretty color. It's, it is it is quite pigmented. It's kind of like a, a dusty rose color. We'll see what it looks like kind of when it dries a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the lip liner right next to it. And the lip liner is quite a bit darker. So again, I don't know if they set them out like to match. Um, I would hope so, but yeah, the lip liner does look quite a bit darker than the liquid lipstick, but maybe when the liquid lipstick dries a little bit, it will darken up. 
So that's it for my BoxyCharm this month overall. I think it was a really good month. BoxyCharm hardly ever disappoints, so I'm happy about that. We got tons of full-size products in here, products I will definitely get use out of. I'm actually really excited to, to use the Smashbox primer again. It's been a really long time, like I said, that, and I haven't really been using like a foundation primer on a regular basis, so it'll be fun to play around with that, and that liquid lipstick looks like it'll be a really pretty color. I feel like I have a lot of colors similar to this already, but nonetheless it's a color that I feel like I would wear so really good box for BoxyCharm um, Beauty Box 5 was pretty good as well and I'm really happy with my Scentbird perfume this month so yeah overall not a bad month for boxes I still think last month um, won by a little bit but still really happy with everything that I got I would love to know again what you got in your boxes and I hope you guys had good ones as well thank you so so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon Bye.